Hello everyone, we hope you're well. Now, obviously, this is a Christmas cake. Um, this is a traditional Christmas cake, and in our, op in our opinion, this is the way <laughs> it should be. And the reason I'm so confident about that, mate, it's in the Cook's Bible. It's the Biro book. We've been using this for years, and we've done one Christmas cake already, but we're gonna go for it this time. Look at this. Can you see that? You can pause that and read it, but I'll run through it anyway. But this is for a, a 10 inch tin. And um, <laughs> we used a seven inch tin on our last cake, but we thought, well, we can get a 10 inch uh, cake tin in here. So we'll use it now. I've greased it, stuck a, pa a paper in the bottom look and round the insides. And then also I've made a belt look with a grease proof paper and tied it up there. Look at that. That's not a bad job, is it? <laughs> and that's a, a spring form tin, 10 inch. So this cake should make the right amount for that 10 inch tin. Now I will tell you, we've got 350 grams of plain flour. And you can see it in my lovely sieve at the back mm -hmm. though. Um, <laughs> it's all right. We've got uh, a teaspoon of mixed spice, Down here. 110 grams of ground almonds. Now, when do you have to sieve that? Mm -hmm. We've got four eggs at the back there. You can see those. Uh, 150 ml. Now we've got 75 ml of uh, milk and 75 ml of brandy there because you, you mix them together. We've got 225 grams of butter. 225 grams of soft brown sugar. Now, in that big tin that tastes absolutely <laughs> fantastic, that big mix of them all, because I've had some. Oh. <laughs> We've got, oh. now there's 225 currants, 225 grams of sultanas, 225 grams of raisins, and there's uh, 110 grams of cherries, and there's 110 grams of mixed peel. Let me just show you that, mate, because it looks fantastic. <laughs> it is, look, and Wendy's, I bought some brandy. She's been going mad with the brandy. She's throwing at it like you it's tap like water. <laughs> look how, look at that, look how moist that is. That's fantastic. Mm. Right, now that's been soaking for a it's while. about a week. I mm. think it is actually a week today. Mm. Um, right, so there's all the ingredients. Right, we'll get to start doing this because we've got to move stuff and I will warm the oven up as well and uh, we'll bring you back. Right, now I've just brought you back because we're going to warm the oven up. We want this nice and warm. And this is the new uh, Isapienta oven there we go hang on i'm trying to think i might try and think i'll switch it on we've only just got this <laughs> yeah this is a new uh sapienta oven air fryer and we'll switch it on and what we want is bake so you move that actually we've only got to move it across one now that the fan is on low and we want it on low and it's 140 and the time, I'm going for the maximum time here because this cake is going to take quite a while to cook. I imagine you can only go up to an hour. Yes, you can. So 60 minutes for a start. And temperature, we're going 130. We are. Uh, let's go, yeah, 130. We are. Oh, I moved it. I moved the wrong one then. <laughs> Clever. I thought I pressed that. Ah, here we go. 130. Right, now I know, you know, we're only, we only really want this on just for about five minutes to warm up. But uh, press start, off we go. To say, we, we're just warming this up. We're making this great big cake because we have got plenty of family and they'll all get together. So hopefully, we'll see this cake off it should be no problem 
Anyway, as you can hear, that's not too noisy. That's that's all right. That is right. While that's warming up, we'll get started on the cave. Right, I've brought you back because we're going to get started now. First, when he's going to sieve the almonds. Um, these can be a bit funny. Sometimes they're okay. Sometimes they're not. Some people just, don't, but... No, but it does tell you mm. to sieve them, so that's what we'll do. It gets I'm, the lumps out, doesn't it? I'm doing this to the beaver. Yeah. Now, this is going to take a few minutes, so when do you carry on with that, and I shall bring you back. Right, now every bit of that's gone through the sieve. It's a good job I didn't film it, we'd have been here all afternoon. <laughs> right, now we're on the next mm. bit, and this is... Sieving the flour, or oh, what you put it in there, I didn't mixed see that. Spice. Oh, the mixed spice is going in with the flour, yeah. that's going through the sieve. No, we can't see, you see, can we? Right, so that's mm. all going through here onto the almonds. We'll get that done, we'll get that mixed together. Yeah, the um, you can hear the uh, air fryer on in the background. I've actually stopped it now, but the fan will run for a little while. Oh. I will put it back on before we put the cake in. It's just to get everything nice oh. and warm. <laughs> you keep missing. Oh, it's bit of bang, isn't it? That There's warm. another tradition. You've got to make a mess. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a bit that's quieter. <laughs> that's all right. Oh. Right, there's the flour done. Yeah. Don't want to waste any. I don't waste anything. I have, look. <laughs> that's nothing. So. It makes a lot more mess than you think. It's just a little all. bit. Right, now it's combined that together. Yeah. I mean, it will combine better than this when it gets in yeah, the mixing bowl. Yeah, because you don't bowls. need to mix it in the bowl. So. It's all been done. Right, so I think when you'll carry on mixing this and we'll move on to the next stage. Right, this is the next stage. We're just going to beat the eggs and then put the milk and the brandy in with it. Right, There's the milk going in. I really ought to have the camera above. It's difficult to see, but never mind. We all know how to tip it in the jug, I'm sure. That's better, I can see now. And now I want the brandy going in. Yeah, no, that's not there for <laughs> drinking. I don't like it though. I'll tell you the, which bit of the brandy I don't like. That bit, mate, where the bottle's empty and fast. Oh, we've been feeding that's you all the going, cake. That's all going in Christmas cakes and puddings and. Look at that. Mm. <laughs> Anyway, right, now I'm getting done. away the camera. That's all done. Right, I'm going yeah. to the next stage. So now... Right, I brought you back for the next stage. So right. what's going in first, the sugar or the butter? Sugar. Doesn't matter, does it? Oh, that went the the, sugar. That went with a dollop. And we want the... Uh, just move it in there. Want the butter in. Mm. Don't worry, we can see. Yeah, half the battle is trying to actually show you on the camera. It's a little awkward. Yeah. But you can see that's gone in there. Now this one's mixing together. There. Right, right. Let's bring the mixer down. And... There we go. You want number one on the mixing.
Right, that's ready now, you can see that. So uh, we'll stop the machine. Right, right that's that stage done. Yeah. We'll get sorted out and I'll bring you back. Right, we're on the next stage now. The black treacle's going in. So we get that tipped in. It's awkward, isn't it? All we can see is Wendy's Sorry. arm. Can't win. I did have some hot, hot water for my spoon, but I do know that helps, but we used it, didn't we, for a cup of tea. It doesn't matter. Right, so that goes in now and should just mix that up and then it'll be the fruit. So I'll, this is sticky stuff. I'll bring you back. <laughs> right, that's mixed in. Now we've got to get the fruit in. Is that showing? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fine. Right, right now I'm going to do it a bit at a time. Yeah, because it takes a bit of stirring. I think we'll uh, both be having a go at this. Right, so the fruit's going in. We'll mix it up. I'll bring you back. Right, it's the last bit to go in. There we go. Now the clanking in the background is me washing the pots. I'm sorry about that. We've got to do it as we go along. You want all the juices in? Give me the tin. Oh, that don't want to go in. <laughs> right, let's get that final bit mixed up. get this finished off and then it'll be tip it in the tin and I'm going to get the oven back on to warm it up right now is that cake mix ready yeah. it is if it do it again it, it should just drop. want to stick to the spoon but drop off in a good lump look at that now that's that seems to be ready so the next thing now I'm going to get you just to give it a quick mix just to make sure because my arm's a bit weak isn't it and then I didn't really have my go, mate, we're busy washing up. <laughs> and you've got to make your wish, haven't you? Mm. I think actually it probably has come true because we've had a good year. Well, a good year cooking food, although I'm pretty good at eating it. <laughs> right, that's, that's all well mixed now. So now it's just a case of getting that in the tin. Yeah, yeah. Do you want me to do it? It's up to you, you can do. Don't mind. You just tip it to the bottom, um, tip it in and let it go and then move it around. <laughs> nearly let the bowl go oh, around. Yeah. It nearly escaped me. I mean, do you want me to push it out? Yeah, go on then. I'll hold the bowl. You give me the spoon. Yeah. You've got it. Got yeah, come on. I'm here. That's better because I can get hold of it then. Pull it down and you can get the rest of it. Yeah. There you go. I've done my bit. Right, Stop licking it. <laughs> now you can hear the uh, cooker. I've put it back on to get it up to temperature before we put this in. Now we're expecting this to take quite a long time to cook. The great believers in long and slow. The Christmas cake. It's not a competition, is it? No, and it, we're in no rush. No. So this will get done. Mm. It'll be finished when it's finished. Mm. But we'll bring you back as we go along anyway. Right, we're about there now. Let's uh, show you the oven. Right, that's finished now. I'll just show you that before it actually goes in. As you can see, it's nice and tight to the sides and uh, a bit of a dent in the middle but that will fill itself up we need to worry about that right let's get this thing in the oven right let's get this cake in when you put it in now i've actually trimmed the paper down a bit so we can see better yeah, I thought, well, I'm good to see it. 
where you can see that cake yeah. in there. Yeah, you can now, can't you? Yeah, when's but, it before? Uh, right, shut the door, right. off we go. Right, I'll bring you back when there's some action. Right, the uh, cake has been cooking for an hour and we thought, well, we better just check it. It's nearly cooked. Uh, we've put some foil on the top. I don't know whether you can actually see that. It's not uh, burnt, but it is well cooked. We're a little bit stunned. It's so fast, but that's had an hour now. So now I've put it back on for 10 minutes, of which it's just had one minute. So, right, I'll bring you back. I, I get the feeling it could well be cooked at the end of this 10 minutes. Right, we're going to get this cake out now and check it again. See what it's like. If only you can get that out. You can see it's had its other 10 minutes. Right. Let's try this now and see what it's like. Let's get you a better view. Right, let's have a look. We had covered the top up. Last time we checked it. That's clear. That's clear. That's cooked. Mm. One hour ten minutes and a Christmas yeah. cake's cooked. I find it hard to believe, but... Yeah, it's done. I don't know, am I holding it right? Yeah, let's have a look. Mm -hmm. That, that is cooked. Yeah. Oh, blow me. It's perfect. Oh, me, I the only thing is, when I've stabbed term. it, I've made an hole. <laughs> you have made it I should have really done it with um, the. Yeah, right. Checker. What we'll do now, we'll let this um, cool down for 10 minutes before we remove the tin. Right, we'll just stand Ooh. it on something and we'll bring Ooh. you back. Right, here we go. Wendy's going to just feed this mm. Christmas cake. Right, I'm just going to paint. Well, go on, just do it. It's It's just. Warm to touch. Uh, it's, it's been out the oven for a little while and yeah, cooled no, off. Just give it a good. Now, I apologise. It's really noisy in this kitchen, but this is real life, mate. We're not messing around. We're trying to cook us tea as well as doing this cake. So I'm afraid you can't see very much. Can it's you? It's sinking in. It's going straight in. We can see yeah. that. Move your underwear a second. Mm. See, look at that. You can see it disappearing yeah. in the cave. And then carry on. <laughs> I know this is only, um, it's just a few seconds of video just to show you. Well, it's got to be given, it's on, you've done a cake, so you've got to show them, haven't oh, you? Oh, it smells lovely in this kitchen. It really does. Right, I know it's noisy <laughs> in here, so. I made I'll that all there. And Punched it on with an eye. I'm supposed to be checking the cake. Well, I'm putting some stuff in it. <laughs> right, now I know it's noisy, so we'll bring you back later. Right, I've just brought you back just really to say, um, well, we're in a little bit of a state of shock. We expected this cake to take some time to cook. I mean, I told you we've used the B row book. Now, in this B row book, you know, it's three and a half hours to cook a Christmas cake. Now, I'd go along with that. It is three and a half hours to cook a Christmas cake. I mean, if you look, you can see there. Look, can you see? Just here, look. It says three and a half hours to cook the cake. And I, I fully expected that to take two hours, two and a half. I would not have been surprised at all. I mean, we have cooked... This is not the first Christmas cake we've cooked, but as you can see next to me here, we've got the new uh, Sapi I Sapientia. I Sapientia. <laughs> Air fryer oven. And I've done an unboxing video, so there's no reason to not put this on. But um, the cake is at the side of me there. Now that, I don't know how it, if it looks very big on the camera. It's a fair size cake. That is a 10 inch cake. Now a 10 inch cake, we said a 10 inch pizza will go in here comfortable. And that 10 inch cake tin, which we've had for some time, that fitted in there a treat. So we thought, well, that's Wendy, isn't it? She wanted to make another Christmas cake. He says, 
it'd look nice, wouldn't it, a big one? So uh, that's what we've done. But we're both absolutely stunned. We put that in for an hour and thought, well, well, we'll just check it. So we checked it and we thought, oh, God, it's, it's not far off. It's, it, it was a good way cooked. So we put it in for, uh, God, let me think now, is it another 10 minutes? Yeah, we put it in for another 10 minutes. It was cooked. I just, well, we got it out. Well, you've seen the, you've seen the video, make of it what you will. Now, I could hardly believe that it could be cooked in that time. It has. It's cooked it. What can we say? And as we've already suggested, we made it to the B-Road book because, mate, me and Wendy, this book, well, it's Wendy's Bible, this is, isn't it? And we all use, like to use the B-Road book, so you can't go far wrong. Um, I just thought I'd better come on and explain that. It's strange. We're, we're still shocked. I can't get over it. The cake's beautiful. <laughs> it really is and it's a, going to be a traditional cake and we, you've seen us feed it uh, Wendy's done a really good job there you know um, I'll take my hat off too she has done well there so um, right it'll, next thing will be uh, marzipan which we've already done one marzipan one cake so we'll probably just marzipan this anyway and Wendy will decorate it um, Right, so all I can really say from me and Wendy, hope everybody has a good Christmas. <laughs> Look after yourselves, right, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.